So previously we did an example where we had to do expected values with integrals and it was a little bit tedious, but it wasn't that hard. Now let me do an example where you're allowed to use the uh, properties of, of certain random variables from the table. So let's suppose that X is the time a student spends at a party. And we're going to model X as um, exponential with the parameter lambda equals 1 over 3. Okay. Now, we discovered last time via direct integration that the expected value of x was 1 over lambda, which is 3. And we also derived that the variance of x was 1 over lambda squared, which is equal to 9. Okay. So in this case, we're allowed to use these known values for e of x and var of x. And now we're going to compute some derived values, right? So let's suppose that y equals the um, number of ounces of liquid drunk by a student, and it's related to the time they spend at the party by y equals 16x plus 2. And now I want to compute the expected value of y and the variance of y. So again, we can do this without doing a lot of tedious integration. So first off, the expected value of y is just the expected value of 16x plus 2. And we can take apart the um, expected value part by linearity. So I can take apart the sum, and I can also say that the, um, you know, this part couples apart 16 times e of x plus 2, because 2 is a constant. So in this case, I look back and I say, okay, well, 16 times expected value of x was 3, plus 2 is 50. Okay. So no complex integration here, just a little bit of manipulation. Okay. Now, what is the variance of x? The variance of x, again, is the variance of 16x plus 2. Now, one thing that we know about the variance is that um, the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times the variance of x. I definitely showed this part in a previous lecture, and the variance of something plus a constant doesn't change the variance because it's just like shifting the PDF back and forth along the real axis. So the, the spread of the random variable doesn't change. So this guy can look at very quickly and say, okay, that means, oh, this should be variance of y, I'm sorry. This means that the variance of 16x plus 2 is just 16 squared times the variance of x, which is 256 times, whoops, times 9, which is 2304. Okay. And last, let's suppose that the um, time it takes the student to stagger home after the party is related to how much liquor they drank, right? So let's suppose that's related to uh, y by, or related to x, doesn't really matter, like this, okay? Now I compute the expected value of z. Well, I can say this is going to be 0.4 times the expected value of x squared plus 1.2 times the expected value of x. This part I already know. This part is 3. I don't actually know expected value of x squared, but one thing I can remember is the, the expected value of x squared is related to the variance by this. Why is that? Well, if I move this over, I can see this is the definition of the variance. The variance of x is this minus that. So in this case, I can say, oh, well, the expected value of the exponential random variable, then the variance is 9. The expected value of x is 3 squared. So the expected value of x squared is 18. And so I can say this is going to be 0.4 times 18 plus 1.2 times 3. And the answer is whatever it is. Turns out to be 10.8. So you can see that when you're just you know, messing around with the things you already know, these expected value problems can be pretty quick.